Hello, my name is Vianne Cox, and I am here at Broadway.com in front of my firing line. Oh, I mean roll call. <laughs> oh, Madame Borel in An American in Paris. Well, it changed me into an old woman. She's a very stern and wonderful old woman, but she dances still. June in last Easter, my friends killed me and I did a substitution, which is an acting exercise. While, I, while the drugs were working on me to actually make me go to the other side, hopefully heaven, I did a substitution of jumping off the diving board when I was a child toward my father. Made me cry every night and I was terrified every night and it substituted for dying in front of the audience. You know, funny is usually sexy, but Miss Havemeyer and Pan Am had no humor at all. So there's something about the absence of humor, complete absence of humor, that was actually sexy to some people. So many good costumes. In La Cage Fall, I got to play a, a, a cafe owner in a fat suit. I loved that so much. It was very plain. French woman, chubby. Mm. In my next life, I'm going to be chubby. And then I got to play a very elegant French woman. And then I got to come out in a showgirl costume, sparkly, almost naked. Maybe a lot of you didn't see this. It was called A Mother, A Daughter, and A Gun. There's nothing left to be said. Marcy X was a wonderful movie where I starred, well starred, co-starred, I don't know, who knows with movies, with um, Jane Krakowski and Sherry Renee Scott. We played Lisa Kudrow's best friends with Damon Wayans. And Sherry Renee and uh, Jane and I, we were bad in our dressing room. It was fun, like so much fun. Even when I'm playing a queen in Shakespeare, sometimes the first thing I hear when I come out of the stage door is, wow, you were great in Seinfeld. Did you like my queen? The first one would be Rose Stock Nick Gelman in Carolina Change. It held social consciousness in every fiber, every note, every word, and that set the bar for my life in the theater and I knew what theater could be because of this. And Amanda in Private Lives, because there is no better role in the entire canon of theater. Okay, what can one say? Rodgers and Hammerstein, Cinderella, I played Calliope. This is not just my family, but it is my extended family on the universe. Everyone loves it, and I feel very lucky to have been a part of it. Gwendolyn in The Importance of Being Earnest because I had to star next to Jefferson Mays and he's perfection. And also, Oscar Wilde is deceptively easy, which means he's incredibly difficult. Does Rollo never live down? Is that something bad? Is that like supposed to be a bad thing? Or is it role I'll never live up to again? All right, so my diva came out because I studied from the greatest diva of us all, Betty Buckley. She taught me how to rise above it all and then a free man of color because I got to play a man, the ultimate diva. When one gets to play Olivia in Twelfth Night, it never leaves your heart. And of course, Kate Sullen in The Bow Stratagem, also at the Shakespeare Theater. One falls in love with Kate Sullen, not because she's sullen, but because she's glorious. I think that's it. Goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. But I have to say, I have had a life. 
and I've had a beautiful life on the floor here. I feel like a very lucky woman. Thank you for reminding me. And please come and see me in an American in Paris being something other than goofy.